Hello friends, welcome to the SYBAC IT Semester 4 Embedded System Practicals. Today's practical is to configure 8051 microcontrollers serial port for asynchronous serial communication with serial port of PC exchange text messages to PC and display it on the screen. To do so, we require this sort of program. Where you see the program starts with include reg51.h. This is the library file that you require to include in every embedded C program. Then the program starts with void main function. So this function is also required in every embedded C program. And there you will see that there are some registers which are initialized with some values. And uh, then there is a while loop which is being processed for example. So to do to understand this program, let us see this theoretical part. First of all, what does it mean by serial communication? So in serial communication, multiple bits are sent one by one as opposed to the parallel communication. So in parallel communication, multiple bits will be sent all at a time. But in serial communication, one bit will be sent at one time. Then this serial communication is of two types that is synchronous and asynchronous. So in synchronous serial communication, a block of whole, whole block of data is transferred at a time. In asynchronous, the transfer of byte will be done at single byte. Then the next is type of serial communication registers. So we have S buff register that is serial buffer register and SCOM register that is serial control registers. These are 8-bit registers but to set their values we require TMOL register which is of 16-bit. So in my last video also I have discussed that how this TMOL register, the 16-bit register can be used in two different modes for 8-bit registers. So these are the steps to understand this program. The first step is we have to set the baud rate baud rate by loading tmod register with the value 20h. Now this 20h is the hexadecimal value. So you see here that tmod is initialized with 0x20. So this is the hexadecimal value that is 20 and this is the way of representation of hexadecimal value. Similarly th is loaded with some baud rate. This is the proper baud rate that I have initialized. You can also vary this baud rate. Then SCON is to be initialized with the 50 H values from the value 15 hexadecimal. So this is the way to represent value 50. Then we have to set TR1 so that the timer 1 will be started. Then SBUF is carrying the character byte that we want to display. Now this is the character I. Now this will be in terms of byte because each character is represented with 8 bits that is 1 byte. You can also write some other letter here and you can check your program. Then next that we have to set the uh, flag that is uh, TI flag to the that is transmit interrupt is to be cleared by a CLR uh, instruction and then this bit is to be uh, executed in a loop. This flag bit is monitored and we have to see whether the character is transferred completely. And then this transfer of byte will go on in a loop. So we have used this loop. So this is how the program is to be coded. This is the key software ID will look like after you are entering your program into the key software. And this is the ISIS produce software. And here you see that the letter I is printed out through this serial port. So here we are not using this general purpose port, but we have initialized them to be act as a serial ports. So we will be using this RXTX that is receiver and transmitter um, UARTs to send the data to the virtual terminal or to the PC. So let us see how the program is to be coded and how the program is to be executed. So to write the program, you require a key software. So you can type here KEIL and you can click on open. So you get this key software ID. So whatever is opened, just close it. So everything which is open in this key ID will get closed. It is always better to close everything before we start a new project. 
So to start a new project, click on project, new micro region project. So now this will ask you for the projects or project name that you want to select. So I'll write serial communication. So you can write a complete name also. So this is just a user defined name. So you can write, you can click on save. When you click on save, here you will have to select the microcontroller. So here you can type ATC, AT89C51. This way you can type and this will get listed here. Click on OK. Here you simply click on No because we are not going to have by default startup code. And you see your project is created with this package source group. Right now this source group is empty. To add the program or the code to the source group, you have to click here to the new file. So this is the new text file. You can click here as well as you can check it from here also. So you can click on this new file. So this is the simple text file you see where you can type your code. So I have already typed the code and kept it in a notepad. So I can simply copy and paste this program to my text file. So you see now this is the normal text file. When you are going to save this text file with .c extension, this text file will get interpreted into the into this C program. So here. I am using the same name as my project name but it is not necessary to use same name. You can write any relevant name but .c file extension is necessary and all files must be selected. Also you can check where you have stored this file. So you can navigate to the proper folder and you can save there. So click on save and you see now this file has got interpreted in C language. That means the keywords are identified. The matching curly braces are identified and the other like variable and the values all are identified properly. If there are going to be any typographical errors that will be also that can be also guessed or can be solved easily, can be seen easily and can be solved later on through this file. So now this file is we have saved this file, you have to add this file to this source group. So just right click on it, click on add existing files and here you add the C file. So you see that this is a C file that we have just created. Then click on add, click on close. Now you see that file has got added. So now you can build this project. Before building, you can set the options under this target with the frequency 11.0592 megahertz and in out here you can click on hex file so click on ok this hex file is needed to execute our code on microcontroller 8051 now you can click on build this option or you can right click on this and you can click on this build option so you see after build you will get the hex file created with zero errors and zero warnings Please ensure that there are zero errors and zero warnings before executing the code. Now if you want to see how the serial communication happens, click on this debug, click on start stop debug screen and here click OK. Now you will be taken to the debug mode. So if you want to see how the serial communication uh, is seen, you have to click on this UART. So this is the serial windows under that you can click on this uart1 so here you see the output will be same once we click on execute or once we start executing this program so click on this run and you will see that the character i is being sent on the serial port so this is how we can visualize the output also we can visualize this output from virtual terminal in ISR Properties Simulator. To do so, just click on debug and stop debug session. So it will take you back to your programming ID. Now come to the ISR Properties software. You can type here ISRS Properties software. So and by clicking open, you will get this ID. So here, if I want to create a new design, first of all, I need a microcontroller for that.
so click on this component more and click on this pick devices so after clicking on this pick devices you can click here uh, or you can search here 889c Python network address so this is already there just click ok and this will get added now uh, just click on it and draw this network controller here now we further we require is virtual terminal so click on virtual instrument more and here you search for virtual terminal so here you will see the virtual terminal select this and draw this virtual terminal somewhere next to the microcontroller now you see that this virtual terminal has got four different fields and here you can see that there are rx and tx fields so here rx is to be joined to tx and this rx is to be joined to this tx so after doing this you can simply double click on this microcontroller and load the hex file that we have just created so this hex file you can get from um, your objects so you see that um, wherever you have stored your practical or project under that this object flow folder will be created and under that objects you will get your hex file so click on this hex file click open you can change your frequency that is from 11.05 now to megahertz click ok and click on hex play so when you click on play button so this will you see that this will start the virtual terminal and this is sending the letter i to this terminal now the baud rate that we have used is minus three so you can change this baud rate and you will see that the character which is being sent on the serial port is sent with different baud rate so click here to stop this simulation